Minister of Energy Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe has reaffirmed the government's support for restoring the Tema oil refinery to improve downstream petroleum production. Any positive profits generated by the state owned refinery, according to the sector minister, would help ease the government's operations. Speaking at the second annual general meeting of the Bulk Oil Storage and Transportation Limited Company in Accra, he said that TOR and BOST can effectively collaborate if both institutions are doing well. He said the Ministry of Energy will continue to support efforts to make TOR the best refiner in Africa. Foreign consumers in Beni, Togo and Niger failed to pay about 132.2 billion naira in energy bills supplied by Nigeria from 2018 through the first quarter of 2023. According to an examination of quarterly statistics generated by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, the sum owed is from the 180.8 billion naira billed to customers, of which they paid 48.57 billion naira, implying that only 26.8% was paid. Beni topped the debtors list with a bill of 72.1 billion naira through its Société Beninoise d'Energie Électrique, followed by Niger Republic with 31.3 billion naira through its Société Nigerienne d'Electricité and Togo with 10.03 billion naira through its company Energie Electrique du Togo. On a year-on-year analysis, the countries paid 650 million naira from the 47.25 billion naira provided to them in 2018, but failed to pay any amount from the 40.6 billion naira given to them in 2019. The report is of the view that the non-payment of electricity bills by customers of the three countries has become a trend that could lead to sanctions. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has established national criteria for green hydrogen production. It defined green hydrogen as hydrogen obtained from renewable energy sources, either through electrolysis or biomass conversion. Green energy stored in energy storage systems is also included in the definition. Additionally, the government has mandated that carbon emissions not exceed 2 kilograms of CO2 equivalent for every kilogram of hydrogen produced. According to the ministry, the non-biogenic greenhouse gas emissions arising from water treatment, electrolysis, gas purification and drying, and compression of hydrogen shall not be greater than 2 kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalent per kilogram of hydrogen, taken as an average over the last 12-month period. The ministry will also specify a precise system for measuring, reporting, monitoring, on-site verification, and certification of green hydrogen and its derivatives. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency will be the nodal authority for accreditation of agencies for green hydrogen production, project monitoring, verification, and certification. Earlier this year, the Union Cabinet authorized the National Green Hydrogen Mission with the goal of producing 5 million tons of green hydrogen yearly and making India a global green hydrogen powerhouse. Visit energyghanamagazine.com for more on these stories. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by Airport View Hotel. Energy Ghana TV, local in focus, global in perspective.